Ambarish's dilemma. Legend has it that Lord Hanuman was an incarnation of Lord Shiva. There are several stories related to the birth of Hanuman. Once, a king named Ambarish ruled Ayodhya. He was a kind and famous ruler. A lot of sages visited his kingdom. One day, two sages, Narad and Parvat, visited Ambarish's kingdom. Narad and Parvat were known for their wit and wisdom. Ambarish welcomed them peacefully and performed the formal rituals of honor. Ambarish's daughter, Srimati, was one of the most beautiful princesses on earth at that time. Srimati came to greet the sages in the court. Both Narad and Parvat fell in love with Srimati and expressed their desire to marry her. Ambarish became confused and said, O oh, respected sages, I have only one daughter. I need some time to think. I have to find out which of you is more suitable for her. Please wait patiently. Sage Narod's proposal. King Ambrish was wondering who between Narod and Parvat would be more suitable for his daughter. Narad saw this and said, O oh, mighty king, I am a suitable groom for your daughter, as I am older than Parvat. But Parvat protested when he heard Narad's statement. He said, I proposed first, so I am more suitable. Ambrish got irritated when he heard Narad and Parvat arguing. He decided to hold a swamber where the bride herself would choose her bridegroom. He instructed Narad and Parvat, O oh, sages, kindly come tomorrow morning. Srimati will choose a suitable groom for herself. Ambrish got irritated when he heard Narad and Parvat arguing. He decided to hold a swamber where the bride herself would choose her bridegroom. He instructed Narad and Parvat, O oh, sages, kindly come tomorrow morning. Srimati will choose a suitable groom for herself. Narad was not confident about his looks. So, he visited Lord Vishnu and said, O oh Lord, please make me as good looking as you are as I have to attend Princess Srimati's swamba tomorrow. Vishnu blessed the sage with a body as beautiful as his own and the face of a monkey. Narad was unaware of this and hurried back enthusiastically to Ambrish's court. Narad's Monkey Face Narad and Parvat were waiting anxiously when Princess Srimati entered the court with a beautiful flower garland. When Srimati came near the sages, she was amused to see the monkey's face of Narad. She could not hold back her laughter and started laughing aloud. Narad felt insulted. Narad instantly realized that he had been tricked. He cursed Vishnu. Lord, how could you play such a joke with me? I curse you that one day you shall have to seek the help of monkeys to fulfill your tasks. Vishnu replied, Narad, you are a great sage with divine powers. If you marry, your divine powers will vanish. I wanted to save you from losing your powers. Narada apologized to Vishnu.
But Vishnu said, Do not worry, Narad. Your curse will be a boon to me. I will give rise to the birth of Hanuman, a monkey god, who will help kill demon king Ravan. Anjana gives birth to Hanuman. Anjana was Hanuman's mother. There are many stories related to how Anjana gave birth to Hanuman. Anjana, in her previous birth, was an Apsara named Punjikashthala. A sage once cursed Punjikashthala to be born on earth as a female monkey. You will be freed from the curse only after giving birth to an incarnation of Shiv, he added. Punji Kashtala was reborn as Anjana on earth and was married to Kesari, the king of monkeys. One day, Anjana was worshipping Shiv. On the other hand, King Dashrath of Ayodhya was performing a ritual to have children. Agni gave him a divine rice pudding to be shared among his three wives. However, an eagle grabbed a portion of the pudding and flew away. Meanwhile, the wind god blew the wind in the direction where Anjana was worshipping Shiv. The pudding fell into Anjana's palm and she consumed it. After some months, Anjana gave birth to Hanuman. Indra Curses Punji Kastala. Another story related to the birth of Hanuman goes like this. Punji Kastala was a heavenly creature. Once, she visited a planet named Swaha, a planet beyond the pole star, as a tourist. She was very beautiful and Lord Indra fell in love with her. But Punji Kastala declined Indra's marriage proposal. She ridiculed him and said, How can I marry a person who has a thousand eyes? You are not a suitable groom to me. I deserve someone more handsome. Indra felt severely insulted. As Punji Kastala had ridiculed him in front of his ministers, he instantly cursed Anjana. You will pay dearly for your arrogance. You will be reborn on earth as a monkey named Anjana. Punji Kastala's friend, Adrika, could not bear what Indra said. She started yelling at Indra and mocked at him in a cat's voice. Indra became more offended and he cursed Adrika too. Go and be a cat in your next life. Thanks for watching. Do like, share, subscribe to Sahil Bookhouse.